In the previous lesson, we were writing equations of lines if we were given a, a slope and the intercept. Well, today we're not, not going to give you quite as much information. This time we're going to be using a slope and a point. So at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to write an equation of a line given the slope and a point. All right, the first thing they're going to do, we'll start out, our goal will be to get something that says y equals mx plus b. All right, when we're writing an equation of the line giving the slope in a point, we will identify the m, the x, and the y. I will then solve for b, I'll find that y-intercept, and then we'll write an equation of the line using y equals mx plus b, the m, and the b. All right, so let's dig into some examples. It, the directions say write an equation of the line that passes through the point and has the given slope. So the first one, let's have it have a slope of 2. Okay, You do not need to draw a picture, but I'm just going to draw a picture to show you exactly what we're finding, so this problem hopefully makes more sense to you. So I'm going to actually draw the line that we're talking about. It says the line passes through the point 6, negative 3. So if I graph the point 6, negative 3, I'm going to go to the right 6, and then I'm going to go down 3. Okay, now I know my line has a slope of 2, so from this point to get a slope of 2, I'd rise 2, and I'd go over 1. Okay, so what we're trying to do, we didn't need to graph the line or anything, we're trying to find an equation of this line. So I'm going to start with y equals mx plus b. The next thing that I'm going to do is just do some labeling, and this is just going to make the problem a lot easier for you to work. Um, the x is the 6, and the y is the negative 3 because the 6 went in the x direction and the negative 3 went in the y direction. So now from here, we're just going to plug in what I know. I know the y value from what I just labeled was negative 3. I know that m was equal to 2. If these two are right next to each other, it means multiply. The x value I can see is labeled as 6 and then plus b. And now I'm just going to be solving for b. So I have negative 3 equals 12 plus b. And then to get rid of a positive 12, we will do a negative 12 or subtract 12 from both sides. Negative 3 minus 12 is negative 15. So now I've just find my, found my b. Now we're not done because I found b, but the directions were to write an equation of the line. So I need a y equals something. So I'm going to have y equals, my m again was 2x plus b, and my b is minus 15. So that would be my actual final answer because that would be um, my slope and intercept. Okay, next one, let's say I have negative 2, 7, and I have a slope of 0. Okay, the way that we'd set this one up again is I'm going to have my negative 2 is going to be my x value, and my 7 is going to be my y value. I'm going to write y equals mx plus b. And just from what I have labeled, the y is 7, the m is 0, times the x is negative 2 plus b. Then I end up getting 7 equals 0 plus b. Um, I could subtract 0, I suppose, if I wanted to, but anything plus 0 is just itself, so I end up getting b is equal to 7. And again, I'm not quite done because I actually have to write the equation of the line, so I'll get y equals m, which is 0, x plus 7, and then I'm just going to rewrite this as y equals 7. All right, let's try a couple more. Let's say the slope on this one is 4. Okay, so on this one we are going to, again, label my x and my y. And let's write down y equals mx plus b. My y value from what I have labeled up here is 8. My m is 4 times my x, which is 5, plus b. And I'm going to have 8 equals 20 plus b. Then to get rid of my 20, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. I'll get negative 12 equals b. And then from here, I have y equals my m again, which was 4x, and then my b, which is minus 12. So that would be the equation of the line. Right, let's try one more. Let's say this time, this one might throw you a little for a little loop because of the slope being two-thirds as a fraction, but no biggie. Um, I would encourage you to try this one on your own and pause the video and then come back and see how you do. All right, I'm going to label my x and my y just like I did in all the other problems. I'll have y equals mx plus b. My y value is negative 3. My m value is two-thirds times the x value is negative 8 and then plus b. Great, I'm end up going to end up getting negative 3. If I'm using my calculator for this one especially, um, I shouldn't have an issue at all. So um, 2 thirds times negative 8, if your, your calculator will give that to you as, let's see, negative 5 and 1 third, I believe, plus b. OK, 
Okay, then I'm going to add 5 and 1 third to both sides. And again, as long as we are using the fraction button on our calculator, this should not cause me any troubles at all. And then from here, negative 3 plus 5 and 1 third is 1 and 2 thirds? No, it is not. It is 2 and 1 third. And if, again, you use your calculator for that, you would be just fine. And that's going to equal my B. And then I get Y equals. My M is going to be 2 thirds again. So 2 thirds X plus the B value, which is 2 and 1 third. Okay, let's try one more where we've got a story problem situation going on. No problem, because we can handle story problems just fine. Okay, a carnival charges $2.50 per ride after an entrance fee. You paid a total of $22.50 after six rides. Write an equation that gives the total cost as a function of the number of rides, and then find the total cost for 15 rides. Okay, notice we have two different things going on here. First of all, we're going to write an equation, and then we're going to find the total cost. So kind of two problems for the price of one. All right, let's see if we can either identify M or B. Um, my slope is the constant rate of change or what's going to be um, constantly changing in this, and that's the num um, how much how many rides I ride. It's going to be 250 per ride. So um, each ride I ride, it will be two dollars and fifty cents more. So my M, M will be 250. And then it doesn't tell me my B. But it doesn't tell me where I'm starting because it never told me the entrance fee. But I do notice that it did give me a point. If I ride six rides, it's going to cost me $22.50. So notice I have the slope and I have a point just like we did in the other example. So I'm going to label my X and my Y just like I did before. So I have Y equals MX plus B. And notice once you pull the information out of the problem, it just is a normal problem. So if you can just get the past that there's lots of words in it, you should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to have $22.50 equals M, which was 250, times the X value, which is 6, plus B. So now I'm going to have 2250 equals 250 times 6 is 15, plus B. Then I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. So I'll get B equals 750. Okay, and then from here my equation is going to be Y equals um, M, which was 250, X plus the B value, which is, oh, excuse me, the B value was 750. Sorry about that. Okay, and then from here, um, it asks, so it asks me for an equation. I have my equation now, and then it says to find the total cost for 15 rides. Well, I know that X is standing for the number of rides. So all we need to do now is just, whoops, we need to just plug in our 15 for the X. So the total cost is going to be $2.50 times 15 plus 750. And if we work that out, that should end up being $45 for 15 rides. So hopefully now you can write an equation of a line when you're given the slope and a point.